welcome to my dirty floor. See, I have to sweep it. That's what happens when you clean cages. Um, that's when it gets on the floor. But we are going to use this bottom vision. I'm getting a three foot vision tomorrow, but I have something in that box that says Sid with my name crossed out because my friend Sid, she decided that wasn't my box anymore. But what's in that box now, she's not going to want anyway. There's a little present in there, and sorry for the clothes, see socks over there. <laughs> Got my dirty clothes pile over there. But, um, there's a snake in that box. A very large snake that basically is too big for this little vision. Um, but the little vision is going to be held as a locking box until tomorrow when we get back from, uh, from, uh, Indianapolis. Um, this was a last minute thing. A person needed the snake out of their possession and I took it in. It is a Gaboon Viper. It is about 36 to 38 inches I want to say roughly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and videotape it a little bit and then when I put it in there I'll videotape it a little bit when I get down there. Um, it's going to be kept with me forever. It's not for sale. So just to let everyone know that. Alright, look, it isn't she so good. She just sits there. The male? Yeah. He wants me dead. She doesn't care. He wants me dead. And I'll show you something. Oh, they're both behind there. They're both back there. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera now. And I will film when I get... The box right, now you get to see me work on it a little bit better. I'll show you a little blooper thing too. I couldn't get the box open. But number one rule when dealing with venomous snakes is you do not want to try, you try not want to use your hand where it can actually bite you. And this tub is actually a really bad tub to use. Now, I see the gaboon. He's a very, she's a very upset gaboon. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put her in her new cage. Okay, now that cage is very dangerous. My leg cramped up there. Let's see if we can get the light on. Now we will be making more film of it. Don't don't get me wrong. I will make more film of this gaboon as soon as I get the bigger cage. This vision is not even close to the size. I am just using this as a locking container until I get home from Indianapolis tomorrow. Because this snake could not go to Indy. It's illegal to have venomous snakes in Indiana. So I couldn't just go to the show and keep it in a tub. And this tub here is... BS travel anyway. I even had it taped. Um, I didn't expect to do this. I did this for the person because he said, hey, I got a gaboon. I can't touch it. I don't know what to do. He basically said he was scared of it. Someone dropped it off at his place. So I was not prepared to get a 36-inch gaboon viper. 
But as you see, it's very healthy looking. Someone dropped it off and it's very healthy looking. No mites. Um, it's a female. No scars. Someone actually took very good care of it. It is a West African gaboon. Um, his, uh, like, you see with Al saying that the pupils dilate, he is very upset right now. Yes, my hand is shaking. And she is a talker. But I did this to help out the person. Um, and this snake will never leave my collection unless it goes to another experienced friend. Um, this was basically a rescue for this animal because the person would have basically let it, you know, let it starve. They didn't even feed it for the short time they had it. They had it for about three weeks in a cage. They watered it and everything else. It was in great condition. They just didn't feed it. They never opened the cage. It had a screen top on it, um, a mesh wire top so they can dump water in the bowl. But doesn't look for any um, worse for the wear. And I mean, it, she's actually a very beautiful gaboon. And she is hot. And she's a talker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this lock on here. Let her settle in. I'm going to try to feed my model rocks because I got them some food. And uh, hopefully tomorrow with the bigger vision I am picking up for will work out. Um, and she, she does well. I mean, honestly, this vision is a two and a half by two and a half. So I forget what size this is. It's bigger than the one above it, see? So I got two inches on each side, but it's the same depth. So I just thought I'd let you guys know the update. A Gaboon Viper. And as you see, she hooked very well for what she was. I know, baby girl. You've had a long day putting that tub and everything, huh? But first things first, she has not eaten in three to four weeks. So we're going to let her settle in, get her a new cage. Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to go ahead and try to feed her. Um, go from there and get her on Cypress Mulch. Uh, I got her on Aspen right now, which I don't like Aspen for my gaboons. I'm going to get some cypress mulch for some loose leaf litter and stuff. Awesome. I'm out.